I'm very pleased to be speaking to you with football about to return. By the time we return on Friday night, we'll have waited 110 days without playing football. Much has happened in that time. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected most corners of the world and the football world has certainly not been immune. We made the decision in March to postpone the 2020 season due to the coronavirus and have since been following closely health advice from state and federal government regarding our return. It is pleasing to know that as of Monday night, there has not been a single locally acquired case of COVID-19 in the last four weeks across Northern New South Wales. We have gone about our work and scenario planning for the deferred season alongside our seven member zones while attempting to keep you informed. I'm sure football's return will be a great relief to the many that love our wonderful game especially our tens of thousands of players who will finally be able to enjoy the feeling of putting their boots back on and getting out and playing a sport they love with their mates. We understand the difficulty many of you have endured with the uncertainty of when football would resume. So we thank you for sticking with us and I wish you all the best for your first game this weekend. Then there are all the mums and dads whose children have been waiting so patiently I know it has been a difficult time navigating through months of lockdown and isolation. And many parents have also had to deal with financial hardship and uncertainty. So I hope you can get out and watch your child play football this weekend and enjoy the smiles and laughter on our pitches across the region. While we're always keen for football to return as soon as possible, we have only allowed our players to return to the pitch where it has been deemed safe to do so by government agencies. A large part of being able to do that has been because of the support of our coaches who enthusiastically did their best to abide by the Level 1 Return to Training guidelines and get their players back on the park. Many coaches also took part in our online Newcastle Permanent Coaching Masterclasses series during the suspension of football as a way of continuing to build and develop their skills despite the difficult circumstances. So we thank our coaches for their support. We also couldn't have done it without our army of volunteers across Northern New South Wales. It's your dedication, commitment and patience that has got us back on the pitch this year. And understand that many volunteers have felt a burden of expectation and responsibility around the return to play. We hope our Level C Return to Play Safety Plan has helped put your mind at ease and you are ready for another big season. We thank you for all you do for the game and wish you every success for the season ahead. And more than ever, we need to respect our match officials because without them and the amazing job they do, we wouldn't have a game. Don't wait until referee recognition round later this month. I encourage every player to thank their referee this weekend as we return to play. I'd also like to thank our major partner, Newcastle Permanent, for their ongoing support. Football will essentially be going back to normal. There will be few restrictions, but social distancing and personal hygiene must be maintained. And we sincerely ask players, coaches, match officials, volunteers and spectators to take responsibility and use common sense to help keep themselves and other members of the football family safe. Stay at home if you are sick, practice social distancing where possible and wash your hands. To our coaches, Please don't allow players to share drink bottles. Remind players and your support staff to social distance in the technical area. Set a positive example for your players in regards to good social distancing and hygiene practices. To our parents and spectators, follow the directions of club volunteers. Take responsibility for your hygiene and social distance. You're not all going to be able to watch from halfway bundled together this year. Please spread out around the pitch. To our match officials, please encouraging social distancing amongst yourselves. Don't turn up to officiate if you have flu symptoms. Don't share equipment and wherever possible, arrive ready to officiate. To our volunteers, a club's responsibility is to take reasonable steps to encourage the correct behaviour. Display the signage provided, encourage good hygiene and social distancing practices and make use of the resources on the Return to Play portal 
on the Northern New South Wales football website. Football is the most popular sport on the planet and the number one participation sport in Australia. Football can also boast the strongest, finest traditions in Newcastle and Northern New South Wales. And given football's presence in our community, our sport has an important role helping to rebuild communities and social cohesion now that we are starting to return to a sense of normality. The game is going to be different this season. We're all going to need to be patient, flexible, considerate and cooperative. We will need to modify the way we schedule, prepare, play, train, referee, coach, socialise and celebrate to keep the vast football family safe and healthy. But the sacrifices we make will allow us to get back out on the park and play the game we love this year. We're all in this together and Northern New South Wales football, our member zones and clubs are here to make the transition back to playing as enjoyable, simple and safe as possible. To our players, don't play or train if you have flu-like symptoms. Stay home, refrain from spitting and clearing your nose and as much as possible arrive ready to play and abide by the limits imposed on how many people can access dressing rooms. Thank you for your support and patience during this difficult time. I wish all of our participants a safe, enjoyable and successful 2020 season. Thank you.